Hello, welcome to the video for what are lerp nodes. Let me run through our quick example. I am using lerp nodes for both of the things you're about to see. Changing the color from white, well, sorry, green to red, and then red to green, and then making the box move from the left side to the right side, and the box move from the right side to the left side. I'm using two different linear interpolation nodes to do this, LERP or linear interpolation. LERP for short, obviously, unless linear interpolation is shorter for you. Feel free to use that. Now, you can find any of these nodes. There are seven of them built into Unreal Engine by simply typing in LERP. And you will find under the mass section, two for color, two for float, a rotator, a transform, and a vector, which I have laid out here. You'll find one thing, in common for all of them. They have an alpha. Well, this one actually should say an alpha. I don't know why it says value. I'll have to figure that out. But basically, there should be an alpha for each one, and that is what drives the output value. You have an input, two of them, an A and a B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, all the way across. Those are your inputs. The alpha drives what comes out based on the percentage between zero and one. So for example, if you had a zero for your A, a one for your B, and your alpha was 0.5, then 0.5%, well 0.5, which is basically your 50% value between your zero and your one would give you a return of 0.5. And it's kind of useless when you do it that way, but it's useful in the examples that I showed you before. So we'll go ahead and run through them. The first part of this is simply setting this up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a timeline that's going to give me a value between 0 and 1 evenly over 2 seconds. It's going to take that value and put it out in this node, which I'm putting into my lerp node. For my lerp vector, I'm basically telling it, okay, start here, end here, and it's going to do it smoothly over 2 seconds. I'm setting the actual location based on the output result. So what happens here is, you notice there is a negative 300 and a 300. These are the only two different values. Our alpha at zero is going to be A. Our alpha at one is going to be B. Our alpha at any other value is going to be the difference between A and B percentage wise. So if our alpha was 0.5, 50%, then you'd have 50% of the difference between this value and this value which if we did the math, you would notice would be zero. So it would be dead in the center on our linear interpolate from the left to the right side of the screen. And that's how the LERP works. It's as simple as that. If we run through it and we go and check out our float here, basically this is going to be the value between zero and one as the LERP slowly moves across the screen. So zero and one, or one and zero. And if I was to pause this, which I let's try that pause right there. If I was to pause that, you'll notice it's 0.3 because it's 30% across. If I was to, you know, resume it and pause it again, you'll notice it's almost 50% of the way across and it matches where our LERP is, which is 0.5. So let's go ahead and just finish this off. Let it finish. Go back to our example, assuming I can find what I did with it. There we go. And it's now it's all the way across. So our other example was the same thing. We simply set up a material instance. I went ahead and used the same timeline, zero to one. And then I'm basically lurping between two different colors, green and red in this instance. It could be blue and it could be white. Let's go with white. We run this and it's gonna go immediately change to blue because that's what I tell it to do. And then go to white. And then when I reverse it, we're gonna go white to blue. And that's it. It's using the linear interpolation between 0 and 1 and smoothly going from blue to white. White to blue, whatever colors you want. And that's it. It's You have your seven nodes here, two for color, two for floats, a rotator, a transform, and a vector. And it'll allow you to smoothly transition between one value or another simply by inputting what percentage between 0 and 1 you want into the alpha. You do not have to use a timeline. You can do anything you want. A good example would be, I have a health bar. That health bar has 100 points in it, 0 to 100. I want it to be green when it's 100 and red when it's blue. 
the person takes damage, they now have 89 health points. It's pretty simple. You do your linear interpolate for your color between the green on full, red on empty. Go ahead and put in your alpha, which is your current health. Set it to, in that case, it would be 0.89 because it's a 0 to 1 value. And then it's going to output a color that's between green and red. And you can smoothly make your health change between green and red based on the percentage. And it's a nice visual indicator. And there you go. There's a good example. If you have any questions, leave your comments below.